Hello everybody. I'm here at Worlds of Fun opening weekend. Jennifer is uh will be here shortly. She's had a little side trip with her mom's. But I want to give you a quick tour before everybody gets moved into our cabin. So right here is the Worlds of Fun Village. This is our cabin for the next couple nights. Originally we had a cottage booked. Uh, we stayed there last night. We decided to move down here. A little more room. They had some available. And it is a little room here. I'll show you that when you get inside. But it's got a nice little lake. Or little, not lake, but a little, little pond. And you can see Mamba back in the background. Mamba has been testing. Come around here to your little outside picnic. The grill. Inside, we're this is your uh, living room area. A couple couches, you got a TV over here in the corner. Your view back outside that little little pond. That makes this one different. Besides being larger, it also has this loft above here. I'll show that in a minute. Here's the bathrooms, a little bigger. Full size shower there. We're gonna have a half shower. Little kitchenette. Get your microwave, little fridge. This is the master bedroom. One thing about this is the beds are a little small. So it might be a little challenging for Jennifer and I to be in it tonight, but we'll make do. And here's your stairs up to the loft. And just a quick view of the loft. Cyrus is coming in. He and his uh, girlfriend are staying here. I think I'll bring in a little mattress. I think an air mattress put in there. All right, that's a quick tour. Oh, there's not, well, there is a lot of storage. You got a little little store areas here a little broom this is your wardrobe area hang your clothes there a little uh, end table all right well we'll bring you more when they arrive and uh tomorrow when Rosebud opens good morning It's Friday, Saturday, excuse me. Saturday. Everything's running together. Opening day, but there's a 5K of jumpers running here at World's Fun. And this is outside our cabin this morning. Nice sunrise. So, Jennifer, yes. just, what about this race? What is it? It's a 5K, 3.1 miles. Uh, through World of Fun, but also through the World of Fun uh, maintenance roads and oceans of fun. And, um, I guess I've done this twice before, once for the Susan Coleman 5K and once for the Autism Awareness 5K a couple years ago. No, last year. Um, so it should be fun. It's very hilly. I remember that. Uh, and then my two half-sisters are doing it with me, Lucy and Leslie, so we'll see them here in just a little bit. Um, and of course, this was or oh, there is was World's a huge Fun Village? Storm last night, yeah, right? a big storm came through. We heard it sounded like something got hit. It's always you can always tell because it sounds like a bomb went off. Um, uh, bounce the uh, cabin. So I think we're gonna head over to the park, get ready for the 5K. I'm just gonna sit and wait. I'm not doing it. All right, here we are at mile what 1.7. We're gonna go under Mamba. Okay, see up there at the very top? Not, the, not that very top, this very top. That's B Block. So, with the small hills. The small hills, yeah. That's B Block. Morning, that's where last I left off. Yeah. So, how was the race? It was good. It was 
silly, but I didn't even expect that, so. We went to the Waffle House for our kind of tradition. Yes. And now we're just walking towards oh. the Osters Fun, World's Fun Gate. Hopefully it's open this morning. I know. It's gonna suck if it's hot, but we're gonna find out. Got into the Ocean's Fun Gate, so that's open. That was nice. You can see the surf shop. Yeah. And look, it's Cyrus and Holly. Yeah. Used to be Trader Nick's, then it got named, renamed by. <laughs> There's nobody here on our end, the side. Trader Nick's is over there. Huh? Trader Nick's is over there. Yeah, I know. They came from like the stroller room. That's early Mamba's testing. Okay. So just got off of Mamba. It's running awesome. Uh, it's windy, so it's one train for one, opening yeah, day. Yeah, it's one train for opening day. But they are planning to run three this year, Dave. Said that. Right, and then also the trim brakes on V-Block are really light, so even though it's windy, you're actually getting some nice float or air time on the return run. That's great. I love it. Uh, Jennifer wrote it. I didn't write it because yeah. I have back issues, so I'm um, third row, back first older. car is always the best spot. And another thing they change is going off the lift. They don't slow. Oh yeah, yeah. The train you don't down slow down on. The, they don't the slow you down lift. before they release you off the lift. So, so anyway, yeah. until next time. Yeah, we're gonna go in and check out posters. We heard there's a change here. Let's look at everybody's food. Macaroni and cheese. Ooh, I like the macaroni and cheese. Ooh, that smells good. Whatever it is. Oh my god. It's a buffet service line. We yeah, have cafeteria yeah. style, so we get your food up here in this line. Over here. And then you go pay for it. And then... <laughs> I think we're heading down to Boomerang, but here's another new thing over here. Oh yeah, the new Oasis. It's expanded the deck. The drinking deck, I guess. So you get a good view right here. It's nice. Now you have a place to drink during the special seasons. Nile is still closed, but there are testing, so it should open soon. And to something else that's new in Africa. There's an arcade. Yes, the arcade has returned to Rules of Fun. Name Arcade. Got Dutchman flying right there. We got the has been the world's largest lawn on it. But surprise of all surprise is Falcon's flight is actually open and running. We just rode it. 
Dragonfly will run in a minute. Maybe I spoke too soon. Yeah. They went like five rides. Looks like the gate wasn't clearing. There you go. having a new country show sometime this year in June, I believe. Uh, so it's replacing the dog show. The dog show is retired. The dog show people, I think, are retired. Um, so that should be fun. It actually opened as Country Junction back in uh, 1982, I believe. Yeah. Um, and if you're paying over here, it's a Mustang runner, but there you'll see detonators way in the distance, a new topper. And over here you'll see the train, coaches, or oh, get down there, but coaches are parked off to the, down here in the Biform Road, or Hard America Road, whichever decade you, how old you are. The, uh, don't know when it's going to run. So, please don't ask us. I know that they are working on the coaches. It's not Eli this time, it's the coaches. Yes, the rinse upgrades. They were working on the uh, trucks. Well, I was here about a month ago. They were on blocks and the trucks were gone, but now the trucks are back in underneath. So no update. Don't know when it's going to be back together, but it is closer than it was a month ago. And Eli is down at her old home. And no, we haven't heard anything about Levi either. Another new thing this year is this American Spirits. It uh, replaces Subway, where you can get your adult beverages from here. It is open today. I'll try and find you something. I'm okay. Yes, I think they're frozen out my French Street, Yellow's French Street Tavern, but right beside it is the Caribou. I believe that is the new ice cream shop. It's not open. Of course, it's a little cold for it. Yeah, I think it's quite right. It's well done. Another stage, and they already have stage. Oh, right up here next to Con Blossom, they have built a little stage. What was the shows they're going to do here, they say? They, they'd like the um, dueling pianos. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. The dueling pianos, that's where they're going to be. Pretty kind of cool. Yeah, cool. Yeah, especially it's right here. You can go right across there, get your drinks, get all liquored up, come over here and watch them play. Well, let's go ahead to... You gotta get a little candy because we haven't seen the change over there. Jennifer is dying to see it. Yeah. See how much you can see. I was uh, lucky I was here a month ago. I was able to take a tour thanks to the uh, great PR staff they have now. 
why it's asked not to say anything about it so we'll see what you can see and that's what we'll show you the jibbers first yes i have because i wasn't here i couldn't get off i couldn't get off for it There is the uh, destruction. I don't know if I can get above it. can't see a whole lot, but if you look, yeah. you can tell, yes, the building on the right side is gone. Don't know when it'll be done, but... All right, now we're doing another view from the uh, Voyager exit. You see the building on one side is gone. You'll see the retaining walls up. The side of the building still here. And below there was the old break room for employees back in the 80s. Go. All right, just got off Prowler. It was good. It was running really good. The guy behind us was like, this is the greatest ride ever. It was great. It was Jennifer great. got off. I didn't ride. My yeah. you know, continuing back problems. But hopefully one day I get fixed and get her on it again. Yes, yes. So you said there's some track replacement? There's some track replacement. Uh, there's the pothole that used to have on the return run isn't there anymore. At least I didn't notice it. Uh, it's mostly around the first drop area. A lot of it's on the first drop area and some of it's on the return run. 